today we're going to be talking about giving images a transparent background. So, I'll just tell you what I mean. So, for example, this picture here, it's got this white box around. That's its background, it's white. And that's a pain, because if you want to put it in, say, a website, uh, which which has like a black or green or something background you don't want a white box around it so what I'm gonna do is show you how you can get rid of that white box so you just have the picture of the camera to do this we're gonna be using free software called GIMP it's free and open source and you can get it from GIMP.org now I've gone ahead and saved this image to my desktop you can see it right here so I'm gonna go and open GIMP which I have just here And of course, first, what I want to do is load up the image. I now have the image loaded up, and that's all ready to go. Now, the first stage is to go to this layer menu, and you need to hover over transparency and click add alpha channel. And this basically makes it so it reads it as a transparent file then you actually need to remove the background so this is it depends what kind of picture you have here in this case I've just got a plain white background and if it is a plain background of any color or anything it's fairly plain then you're gonna be able to use this method you use this tool it's officially called the fuzzy select tool but it looks a bit like a magic wand so you just click that there and then you go and click in this white space like that then all you have to do is hit the delete key on your keyboard and there you go it comes up with this kind of checkerboard and that uh, just means that it's transparent basically that is just like GIMP's way of showing this is a transparent image so that is if it just has a simple plain colour background but what you sometimes might want to do is um, cut out like a background which is say something complex like think of a bookshelf or something that would have tons and tons of different colors that would be really really massive and it would never just be able to do that in one click so in this case you would just simply um, just undo that you just simply use this eraser tool right here you can adjust the scale like this and then you just take it round it would be it would take a long time and you'd have to regularly take your mouse button up uh, you know just do it like don't do it all in once because if you do it all at once then if you make a mistake you'll have to undo everything you just did so do it in like little clicks uh, so you can undo individual bits um, but obviously that's only really needed if you have a more complex background what you might want to do uh, because obviously this is going to be a bit tricky is go ahead do the fuzzy select tool first but then if I, uh, one sec, if I just zoom in, we can kind of see that it's still got a bit of white around the edge. So what you, what you might want to do is use the fuzzy select tool first, but then take the eraser afterwards. And I can't do it accurately now because I'm recording, but just, you know, just go along and erase those bits of white on the edge. Finally, once once you're happy with it, and once you've got your transparency like that, you need to save it. Now, saving is quite important if you want it to be transparent, because you have to save it in a format which allows transparency. Now, the best format, really, for this is PNG. Uh, so what you'd need to do is go ahead and save it. But as you can see at the moment, this is a JPEG image, .jpg. What you need to do is save it as .png so in this case it's cc underscore camera .png but anything you want .png you just have to make sure it's that click save and you're prompted with this you need to just ignore this and click save uh, and that should be fine uh, and I'm going to close GIMP and you can see on my desktop in fact we can actually see here uh, in the preview um, that it's look if I zoom into the icons you can see here that's the original one and that's got that big white background and you can see our new one it just looks like a camera on the desktop so that's kind of really good um, that we can see that 
right here on the desktop. But also, if I open, them, if I just open this uh, in Windows Photo Viewer, you can see that it's got that white background there. You can see that white box. If we go ahead and open the transparent one, uh, it's completely gone. So I hope this helps. Um, I've tried to keep it short, but it might be a bit long. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.